Hey Busters, welcome back to another Capsule Toy video. So today we'll be opening up the Satin Okabuto or the apparently in English it's called the Santanus, Santanus Beetle, um, can't remember that, but from the uh, Kabuto Mushi or the Rhinoceros Beetle 05 from the Ikimono Daizukan Living Encyclopedia Capsule Toy. So this is a 500 yen capsule toy. So and this time it's in the big capsule. Um, so here it is compared to one of the small ones. So this is one of the big boys. So let's get it open. But yeah, um, for those who've watched my previous videos or whatnot, um, I did mention that they no longer give you a display base and you just get one of these. So, so as always, you get a little booklet. You know, just quickly show it off. Here is a lineup of one to six. And today we're looking at number one, the Satin Okabuto. And it just kind of tells you how to build it, as well as a picture of the um, exclusive stand that they now just sell as a separate thing. You get a stand, adjustable stand with a much nicer wing, more realistic wings. So if you're interested in that. But so this time it's much bigger. And interesting, the horn is just one piece. I thought um, before you kind of had to plug it in, so nice. And ooh, wow. So this one is definitely big. Um, this one is definitely much, much heavier. Like this part here is already as heavy as all, like just the other one and very, very detailed. So just want to show it off. Ooh, wow. So if you look here, it's got like bumps on the shell, but also it's just not bumpy on the bottom. It's just glossy and smooth, but bumpy here. So that's unique. And you know, as always, oh wow. So even on the bottom, they added more hair here on the bottom here, all the way up there. And then if we open it up, oh, they even painted it differently. So clearly it's a very different type of beetle. So here it's black here, but it's, usually there's kind of brown all the way, but this time it goes up here. And then the end has lots of detailed and painted hairs, which kind of show stick out. So, Wow, very unique. I'm definitely glad I got this one. And much, much bigger legs. Much bigger legs compared to the um, the two from the same set I've done. The, what is it, the dung beetle? Or the horn dung beetle? And the uh, rabbit eared beetle? So, already much bigger. And so the hair detailing on this is nice. So, hair can go this much with the eyes there I guess and just give you a close-up of the um, 3d scanned mouth here so it doesn't look quite that nice the 3d scanned mouth but they did scan it to give it authentic um, detailing so they used a CT scans or some sort of 3d modeling where they scanned a real one when making this so they definitely put a lot of effort into making these as realistic as possible. So the antennas and legs. So as always, we'll do the legs um, this time. So this time it does say on the sprue. So this is 3L, 3R. So this means it's on the bottom. And this one here is for me says one and two. And that's how we do it. So let's just quickly get these done. And this is L. So although it says L, when we put it on, it'll be on the right side, the opposing side, because we have to look from it in the back. So this will go here. Oops, sorry, Mr.s. Hmm, very hard to do this. You know what, Mr.s? I'm just gonna quickly cut out all the legs and then just do them um, off screen just to save a bit of time because one hand you know it's always been the same not much different and I can save a bit save you guys a bit of time for those um, who are sorry but silly enough to watch this uh, all the way through you know I definitely recommend you guys just kind of just skip to the end unless you just kind of enjoy watching me build it in which case um thanks so as with pieces I'm just gonna quickly put these all together off screen Busters, so there we go, all built. So this guy is definitely a nice big boy. 
compared to um, the last couple of releases or you know, the ones I've built. Sorry, Busters, the lighting is not that very good right now. There we go. So, you know, so you can see all the detailing here. But legs, so like a real big beetle, kind of like size of my hand. Not that my hand size, I got small hands, so can't really use that. So, with a size comparison, here he is with a Digimon card. Um, Pokemon card, Magic the Gathering, same old, same old, just a normal trading card. So, if we put it on the card, he is, the legs definitely stick out of the card like that. Height-wise, he's kind of like this. Length-wise, width-wise, quite the big boy. You know, comparing him with the medium-sized uh, rabbit-eared uh, beetle from the same line. Or same, uh, same line, but even the same set. So you can already see it's quite big size difference. Like that, even the legs are very different. And here he is with the small uh, horn dung beetle. Very small. So here we have a good indication of a big, medium, and small beetle from all from the uh, fifth uh, rhinoceros beetle, uh, rhin rhinoc rhinoceros beetle set. So comparing him with something from the older sets, here he is with the medium traditional, almost somewhat similar build, but much bigger size wise. And here he is with the one of the Ryan, um, long horned ones. Almost, you would say this is also one of the big ones. So, so definitely the back is about the same size. You know. So inside is quite different. You know, much more detailing here. So this was the one I mentioned where I thought the horns would be um, pegged in, but this one is just curved. So. Oh well, yeah, no, a very very nice. You know, as always, if you wanted to for flying, you use the large one. But so I do like the detailing here. But I'll go over that a bit later. So you just push the head down this much, and then you grab here, just lift it up, angle it. Probably you push it down and then look forward a bit to try to give the wings as much space as possible like that so you kind of have it like this and then you would stick the wings in here and you probably bend this down and then have it flying of course this doesn't come with the wings but you could use any wings from the first uh first and second release as well as you know buying that um unique display stand as there is always a peg hole here so if you wanted him to be flying mode so put him back like this and just push his head back. There we go. Mm, I guess beetles always legs are kind of sticking out like that. So yeah. So there we go. But just um very nice, very very big. You know um I do recommend um before that you know. So just one more time, just going over all that nice detail that my crappy camera cannot show. So um these ones are kind of here yeah, they're just bumps so they are textured and the head here is as always because it's soft plastic um just kind of like a matte finish but i do like if you look at just all that detailing of the hair like the colored parts here you know they added the lines to make it look like fur and then even here on the head you know they added all that nice detailing so it's very very nice I'm just uh, honestly I'm very impressed um, with this guy in that they added the coloring and then um oops, sorry, let's just love that let me get my hands out so they can just adjust. um just that actual hair fuzz from the beetles that they kind of do have so that's really really nice that they put in that effort you know to make it really realistic I'm not sure if the heads can actually go this far but... mm -hmm. so the head can go down this much and it, you know, they didn't just cut it off, they did it all the way, so you can hide a lot of that. But there we have the satin 
Kab o Kabuto, or the Satanus, Satanus Beetle, but overall it's very, very nice, very large. Um, you know, uh, pros and cons. Um, honestly, no pros. It, it this is great. It's been a while since I've been such uh, so impressed with one of the beetles, um, specifically this shell. They had these bumps, and then now it's just sm textured smooth, as well as the fur sticking out here. Like they really went. Um, this is a really good one, you know, so highly recommend this one. Uh, definitely a 10 out of 10, and it's got a nice heft to it, you know, especially if you com compare it with from the same series, same uh, line that you can get, you know, size-wise, it's really good. So let's just put them here, so, you know, just to give you a bit of idea. So honestly, it's really nice. Um, for the, I definitely highly recommend it. The only one I would not recommend, um, I wouldn't recommend it to are people who that just don't like beetles and find them gross in which case um <laughs> Guess you're watching this on a dare, but these do um, I mean do they look realistic from the top kind of yes from the side Just a quick glance maybe but you know, but when you look at it really closely, you know It's clearly not fake, but it is still real enough that you know uh, people who don't like beetles or bugs I cannot recommend this to them you know so but definitely a uh, very very nice. Um, I guess out of this set, um, there is one more with a slightly different one, but I didn't manage to get that one, so I'm still looking for that. If I can get it, I want to, or if not, I'll have to buy second hand as a, it's a unique mold. But out of this set, um, I think definitely this one is definitely the winner. Um, the next one, uh, this one's quite nice, but I think if you're if you like it, and this small cute one is quite nice because of how small it is. It is just nice and tiny and cute, you know? So I definitely think uh, this is actually a very nice set. Um, this set five with all these unique molds. Um, like, I think this is definitely, after seeing this one, a very good set to start off your collection if you were into this, you know? But if not, uh, you can always just check out uh, the link from the description below and you can see all the past releases and what you can get. Um, I guess just to, if you were interested in that, I would just quickly want to say that the Zero One set for the Kabutomushi and the Kuagas, um, that was their initial line, and those beetles were huge. Like they had um, articulated joints, they were much, much bigger. And then starting from the second set, they made it smaller. And then the third one is really when they started cost cutting. So I would definitely say, um, I mean, do I, Rick, I definitely get it, I uh, like them, but I would definitely say if you're like me and you just like collecting these and you kind of like uniform, I would say stay away from the first set as they don't blend in just as well as these guys. So just want to get that out of the way. So which is why I do think if you want to start collecting, um, set four and this set five is a good place to start. But yeah, Busters, there's, after that, there's not much else to say. Um, you know, this set and this Satan Satanus Beetle is really cool. Um, highly recommend it. You know, I really like the pair there. You know, um, they do put a lot of effort into these. Like these legs are very spiky. They can definitely draw blood if you press it too hard. So, I highly recommend this guy if you can get your hands on him. But yeah, Busters, that's basically it for this video. Um, a bit faster than the other ones, probably because I've just built it um, off screen. So I might just start doing that from now on just to save you guys some time. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the co comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you on that. As always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching and hope to see you again on my next Capsule Toy video. As always, this Buster Queen here, off to find some white ash.